Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Wednesday the 19th of December 2018 and the time has just gone 910 GMT. Uh, this week's Chart of the Week is the S&P 500. And starting off on a longer term view, uh, if you draw a trend line between the lows of February 2016 and the lows of no November 2016, we get this trend line along here. And as we can see, back in October and in November, this trend line was well respected. We saw on a couple of occasions in recent months where the, where the market bounced off of that trend line and it actually uh, was clearly well respected. But as you can see here in December, we managed to kind of dance around it on a few occasions and now it is firmly well below that trend line. So it's possible that the, the previous trend line support could now act as trend line resistance. And while we, we remain below that trend line, we could see further losses on the S&P 500. Uh, to take a look at the price action in recent months, we can see the market's been in a classic example of a downward trend. We've seen a nice series of lower lows along here, the low in October, um, the low in October and the low in and the low of November, we're in around the same area, uh, but the low in December, uh, so the, sorry, the high in December rather, the high, the high in October and the high in December are, are, are on the same level, but the high in December failed to take out the previous highs, and then we've seen a couple of lower lows as well. Taking a look at the MACD indicator of the MACD histogram, we can see as the market's moving lower, we can see a steady increase in negative momentum. So as the underlying market has is, is, is been driven lower, we can see an increase in momentum. So the, the, the momentum is clearly with the sellers, with the bulls, sorry, with the bears at the moment. If you look to um, continue to push on lower from here, we could be looking at targeting the 2,500 area. It's a big psychological number. Uh, and if we go below that, we could be looking heading down towards this region here, uh, previous resistance in around the 2,491 area. Now, if you do see any, any bounce back uh, in the S&P, resistance might come into play in around the 2,600 area. We saw a bit of consolidation. Uh, in, that, in, that area, in that area recently. Also, it's a big psychological number. Uh, and if you go beyond 2,600, um, this previous trend line support may act as trend line resistance. And uh, that would potentially come into play in around the 2,645 region. And if you go beyond that, we could be looking heading towards the kind of psychologically important 2,700 mark. It's only really if you kind of take out the December high and, and head north of 2,800 well, then we actually could then we become more confident that the recent downward trend has come to an end. Now, if you are going to be trading the S&P 500, it is worth noting that uh, later on um, this evening, we have the interest rate decision from the Federal Reserve. That will be announced at 1900 GMT, the interest rate decision itself. And according to FedWatch, there is a 69% chance of a 0.25% interest rate hike. And at 1930 half an hour GMT, half an hour after the interest rate decision, we will then ha have the actual statement, and it's likely that, that the statement is going to be the highlight of the actual update. I suspect we could we could have a dovish hike from the Federal Reserve. Um, the, the, their attitude towards hiking interest rates has changed changed a bit in the last couple of months. They're not as hawkish as they once were, and FedWatch is actually pricing in currently pricing in zero interest rate hikes in 2019. Now that's a big change. Considering only a couple of months ago or 10 weeks ago, traders were speculating we could see two or possibly three rate hikes in 2019. So if you are trading the S&P, uh, please keep an eye on the update from the Federal Reserve. Um, finally, uh, if you have any comments to make on this video or any of the other videos we've made here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave a review on Google Reviews. And that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.